everybody and welcome back to the third vlog. Today is Monday, we gave Sunday a miss because we were busy putting the house back together and there was really nothing else going on, kind of having a little bit of a break. Today and this week, Chelsea's out at the moment, she's going to get a curtain pole, a curtain pole to put on there so we can have curtains on here. The reason I'm telling you this though is because Stanley, in the morning, yes you, likes to come up to the bedroom once he's woken up and he likes to just bark at the gate until we let him in. Um, we don't like you waking us up at like half six in the morning. But we think it's because as soon as it gets daylight outside, he wakes up. And because we've got nothing on that window, he sees the sunlight, he goes upstairs. And then the rest of this week is probably just going to be sorting things out, clearing out cupboards, cleaning out the loft for me, that's major what I want to be doing that this week, I want to get it all like tidy and neat. So we'll show you what we're doing, we'll maybe throw some time lapses in, we'll obviously film what the dogs are getting up to during these times, which is probably just this. Is that level? Nice, they do look nice. What's the problem with them, Wayne? What's the problem with them? Hmm. They're a bit short. And as if by magic, they're long now. Too long. Yay. We'll have to take them up a bit, but we'll somewhat later. It will see tonight if Stanley doesn't wake up and comes and bothers us. We'll see if they work. You okay, Chelsea? <laughs> Why are you sitting on mummy? <laughs> Good morning people, it is Thursday, now you're probably wondering where Wednesday and Tuesday and Monday went, but we'll get onto that, but for now let's explain why the sofa is there. Oh, here he is now. Stanley, would you like to explain why the sofa's like that? Care to explain? Well basically everybody, I decided to be sick last night, but rather than do like a normal thing or a sensible thing where I go to the back door and try and be sick outside on you know the kitchen floor where it's easily cleanable what i've decided to do was just go underneath the couch so carl couldn't grab me and then i was sick everywhere so yeah that happened so we've pushed the sofa out we've cleaned obviously the floor and stuff for instance showing us where it was you can probably still smell it but today it's sunshine so we are just actually waiting for our curtains to be collected by a lot of magic elf, because a lot of magic elf is going to turn them up a bit. We've got the hooks on there, but it looks oh I'm falling up. Well, that looks very nice now, very homey, very nice, and it worked. What time did you come see us last uh, yesterday morning? It was about ten o'clock, wasn't it? Yeah, nice and late. Then mummy and daddy had to lie in. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. So it worked. Excellent. But yeah, once the elves came and collected these, we are going to take these little boys out for a little walk. And also today, we have another YouTube plaque. Now, there's lots of catching up and explaining to do, so we will do that after their walk. So, we'll see you guys in a bit.
Hi, 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 hi. What day is it? It's Saturday, which means it's the last day of the vlog. Yay! Oh, Winston. <laughs> this week has been a bit of a disaster. A disaster. Monday I recorded a video, I spent dead in it. It was awful, got rid of it. Tuesday, decided to try and film, went into the loft, was like, right, I'll set up my camera for a time lapse. And then I just got completely into doing it. And then about six hours later, I was like, oh. I can't remember what happened on every day, but like the day we went for a walk, I took my phone instead of my camera because I thought it'd be easier. Phone was out of memory, so I couldn't record anything. It's, it's, just been, it's just been a nightmare. Anyways, enough excuses. Let's show you guys what we've been getting up to this week because we haven't showed you. So we'll just update you now on everything and then we'll get on to Winston because Winston is going to have to go to the vets. Don't look so smug. So we finished pretty much all the painting now, so that's all done. And smell your food. Living room is pretty much exactly the same. Yeah, we've got some new cushions. I think that's it. I also organized these to be like color order because it was annoying me that they were completely random. We still haven't found a home for this. I think this is now at home, but it still has a protective wrapper on because we still want to put it somewhere else, but we don't really have the wall space for it. Oh, you need to come upstairs with me in the loft. And then up here, was this last week? But anyways, this wall's painted, all the walls in here are now painted, so it now looks nice with the contrast with the white, but everything's put back, and the unit's put back, it's all tidied and cleaned. And then I, what you put, what you put, what you put? Yeah, that's all your stuff down there. Then I had a massive clear in my wardrobe, see all these hangers and all them hangers, they were all clothes. If you've been around the channel a while, you will know I only wear about six items of clothing, so the fact I had like, a full wardrobe full was was just you so I've thrown a load of them out now one thing all of this here is my old like merch obviously I wear the new stuff now now I don't really know what to do with it I don't particularly want to throw it out so what I was gonna do was I was gonna give it away but then I thought it's a bit weird giving away clothes that I've worn like two guys that's that's just weird well I think it is so then I was just like oh I'll just put them in like a donation box and like donate them to like a charity or stuff like that but then I was like if I'm um, that's me still just giving away my clothes. I don't know. I'll maybe just bin bag them up and throw them in the loft. I don't know if you guys want them. I don't. It's, I don't know. It just feels weird. Anyways, what you put? 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 Then I also sorted out my drawers and things. So. All the boys stuff in there still needs sorted out. This lockdown might now be going on till like August time, I think they were saying, like Easter or whatever it was. So like these little jobs and stuff, we could bash them all out very quickly, but like we're just trying to drag them out. I'd, currently me and Chelsea going to bed at like one, two in the morning, just like sitting watching TV all night. We're not getting up to like one o'clock in the afternoon because there's just nothing to do and it's just easier to waste the day away doing nothing. However, that is not helping me or the channel out and we need to do something about that, which we will. Come on, let's show them the last room. Bedroom, we've got a, well, we've got our old bed back on. We had a different bed on for Christmas. And then this is a blanket I got Chelsea for Christmas or a birthday. And she loves Jack Skeleton, black and white. It looks nice on the bed, it's super soft. You guys like sitting on that, don't you? So all we've done in here is retouch that wall back up and this unit in the corner, they were like both flat on the wall and then they just had like pop figures in. Now we've like switched turn them so one face is that way, one face is this way. And then Chelsea's put like some books on and some little ornaments and there's, a, there's another Jack Skelly there. Hello. A bit more grown up and it looks like it fits. It was a bit like flat against that wall, but now it's, it's looking very nice. We're looking very homey now, aren't we boys? Yes, we are. Pabby's little sofa's gone. Just getting it in here. Again, an absolute mess. The curtains are with the elf, so they'll get fixed soon. They worked an absolute treat because you, mister, you, you, you keep getting up early every morning. The only morning you've never woke up early on is the one we had curtains up when we closed them. So we're excited to get them back so we can keep having a lie in. Yes. And then as you've probably seen, I've started to clear out the loft because there is just so many boxes and stuff in there that I just do not need. There's so much stuff in there that just needs to go in the bin or get 
sent away, we'll sell on eBay, I don't know, we'll figure it out. That's not very interesting. There is some interesting stuff in the loft though. If anybody is interested, do let me know. I have like a little section, which is like a, a memory section. So it's all just stuff that I'm just keeping just out of like nostalgia, sort of like just old school things and like stuff I've drawn in the past when I was a kid and things like that. If you guys would be interested, I'll maybe do a video on it. I'll maybe put it on my other channel. But let me know if you'd be interested in seeing something like that and then you can like give you a history of me as such through the stuff I've collected in the loft. Well, it'd be pretty cool. Now the rest of the day, I'm putting the paint away back in the shed and then I'll probably be doing the loft the rest of the day then editing this video. I'm not uploading it. Now, Winston. Winston. Stanley, you're an issue. You're an issue. You're an issue. You're an issue. Poor Winston over here. We're going to have to take him to the vet. Now, if you guys can remember, we said about Winston's bad breath and how it was kind of just came on all of a sudden. This week, he has been hacking quite a lot. Not like really frequently, but like maybe every like 30, 40 minutes, he'll just give it like a bit of a hack and then he's like kind of back to normal. We were thinking maybe kennel cough, but it's not as consistent enough and he's, you know, he's fine sleeping and stuff like that. So we're thinking he's maybe got like a hairball, which then explains why his breath stings. Because obviously if he's got something stuck in his throat, it'll be like a buildup of mucus around it. Thank you, you just chew my hand. Stop me being animated with my hand. So obviously it's not just a case of bad <laughs> Okay. It's obviously not just a case of bad breath then, it is obviously something more. He has been hacking for a few days now and it doesn't seem to be like letting off so we're going to go get him checked out. Obviously being COVID and it's a weekend, they're not open or they're only open to emergencies so we're going to have to take him in next Monday. So we'll obviously update you about that next week but obviously this video comes out on Sunday so if anybody has had this sort of issue before, bad breath, hacking, let us know what kind of, if give us any tips or anything. Nobody wants to see your butt all. As you guys will be aware from the past, Winston's armpits have always had a bit of an issue and he's got this, which is like, I think they refer to it as elephant skin. It's kind of where the skin just gets discolored and goes kind of rough. Like, the vets and stuff aren't concerned about it. They kind of think it's genuinely quite common. A lot of dogs kind of get it. And we also found if you put a t-shirt on him, it stops him scratching them. Because it obviously doesn't irritate him that much. But he does occasionally scratch at it and he puts like, see little scratch marks in. Now he doesn't seem particularly bothered by this, but if you look at this armpit, it's like raw skin and it's kind of oozy. And we don't think that's normal, we think there's something else going on. It's a bit, it's just, like this kind of bit in the middle is all like the elephant skinny stuff. This is like raw skin and it is like soaking wet. This armpit is just like wet. We keep trying to dry it. And just like dab it dry and try and get it dried off but it's obviously oozing from somewhere and we're a bit concerned so we're going to take him in about his bad breath his hacking and then we're also going to take him in and just ask about this again we have asked about it before and they don't seem concerned but now it's like this i think they can maybe figure out it's something else we obviously have creams we wash it regularly but it just doesn't seem to be getting any better boo a win my five i like my wife You okay, mister? You just like to clean and look after your brothers, don't you, little man? Stan? You like to look after your brothers. You do, don't you? But we think it's making... In instant? It's making Winston worse, so... Oh, dear. I forgot to say the other day, you get your first one of these for free, and if you want any more, you have to buy them. So you're probably wondering how much these... these are, if you've never known before. They are... £250. That's what we had to pay for it, to get a second one. So I may put a few more ads in this video to cover the cost of that because it was very expensive. But I already wanted one for my office upstairs and we just think it looks so good there that we didn't want to take that one, so we just got a second one. So that is going to be it for this week's vlog. Now next week will be a lot better and we'll make sure we record it actually every day and not just doing an update at the end of the week because that wasn't the point in these videos. But still new, still learning, still trying to get to grips with it. We will try and get some actual midweek videos out so far I think I've recorded five and deleted all of them because I'm just not happy with them and I just, yeah, just 100% done with lockdown at this moment. Anyways guys, hope you enjoyed, like, comment, subscribe, as usual, peace out.